But you've done the same thing. I mean, the, the thing I think that one of the lessons that we have learned, and I, at least it was when I was at the National Governors Association, you didn't know whether the person sitting next to you was a Republican or Democrat. It didn't matter. And now I gather that's gotten much more political. But we were about it sharing is. because we even inside we of the organization. Is it now? I mean, yeah, it's all the, it's all gotten it's become infected between governors. And uh, I'm not even a member of the National Governors Association because I don't need to go to meetings where nothing gets done, yeah. and all I see is no serious work together. Now I'm trying to do a little bit with some Democrat governors right now on health care, and. Um, and we'll see how far I can get on that because we do need health care reform, but we can't just cut people off, millions right. of people off, and not give them the care that they need. So, yeah, it's become, it's become, unfortunately, I think, a lot more political and not good. So we've got to swing it back. Right. No, it's, it's a shame because I, my staff wasn't always happy when I went because I'd come back with a list. Here are things we ought to try and do yeah. because this is what other governors are doing, and it makes sense. Let's see how we make it work in New Jersey. I, I have sure to tell you, you another, I know I'm telling you all these stories today. I haven't said any of this during this tour, but I, I enjoy the stories. Uh, there's a governor of Connecticut who's not running again, Dan Malloy. Mm -hmm. And the first time I met him, I was in the White House uh, with President Obama, and he and I sat together, and it, it wasn't very pleasant. And, um, okay, so then I saw him another time and we kind of chatted. Well, we went to the inauguration and we sat next to one another, yeah. Dan Malloy and I, mm -hmm. and it started to rain and he gave me his raincoat. Really? Yeah. He said, I don't want you to get wet, Governor. Here, you take this. I want you to be dry. I, I have yeah, to tell you, I mean, I'm telling the story here, yeah. right? So, Dan, I know you're not listening, but somebody is and they'll tell you. Thanks for that raincoat. <laughs> it made a difference. But you know what I'm saying? That's sort of like the humanness. Right. And um, that's what we need to have. And uh, there are people there that want to do this. It's not like everybody wants to fight. We just have to honor those that really step well, out. Well, that's where I think No Labels and the Problem Solvers Caucus in Congress comes in. And that, yes. that's growing. But I, with you, we, the people, have to support those who are willing to take on leadership to say, you know what? I love my party, but I love my country more. And I'm not going to vote on the party line on this because it's wrong.